It's been almost 10 years since Audubon launched its Women in Conservation program. In that time, the program has worked to help women find their niches in conservation. By profiling and honoring women who've left a large mark, we are inspiring those who will yet make a difference of their own. Through the years, we've been inspired by women who are creating sustainable urban communities, turning local liabilities into assets. We've been moved by women who have responded to environmental disaster. We have honored pioneering conservation mentors and women who have gone places men fear to tread. Whether they have run national parks, nonprofits, or corporations, these women have inspired us all. Today, led by its chair, Allison Rockefeller, Women in Conservation educates and nurtures its network. Online platforms, tours to critical ecosystems like the Everglades and Gulf of Mexico, as well as a comprehensive internship program, bring environmentalists together at all levels of experience. This year, the program's first field position was created in Long Island. Last month, Women in Conservation hosted a panel discussion at an all-girls school featuring past Rachel Carson Award honorees. As we celebrate the 50th anniversary of Rachel Carson's groundbreaking Silent Spring, we honor the dedicated women who carry on its spirit and message today. That burning too much fossil fuel is causing our seas to warm, which in turn causes more severe storms. The Reverend Canon Sally Bingham is rousing people of faith into action in the name of the environment. She preaches that all religious followers need to act responsibly when managing their time and place on earth. Sally was struck by her calling to protect the environment one day while sitting in church. She realized that one can pray for the planet, but through action in how we treat the planet, people can actually preserve it. Using the Interfaith Power and Light campaign as her pulpit, Sally has mobilized thousands of religious people to embrace energy efficiency. She has greened more than 10,000 churches, synagogues, and mosques, and organized activities like the Preach-In for Global Warming. Her campaigns convey the importance of energy conservation, efficiency, and renewability. Sally has spread this message around the world, encouraging all people to take action in preserving life for future generations. She particularly enjoys speaking with students and showing them how to easily change their lifestyles. Sally's regeneration project has shrunk carbon footprints and educated hundreds of thousands of people. As the leader of IPL, Sally also advocates for support for vulnerable communities impacted by climate change. The cause has momentum, and Sally is currently working to establish interfaith power and light programs in every state. Today, we applaud Sally's inspiration.